Africa awakens. More than a million GNUs gather here to give birth. In anticipation of the baby boom about to happen, more and more predators gather. He positioned himself long before the GNUs came. Elephants see this as their forest, and it is unwise to disturb them. Manyara Forest is known for the largest baboon population on Earth. The dense forest is inhabited by the Sykes monkey. Large numbers of wildebeest stream into their place of birth. Over short distances, the newly born calves can easily keep up with their mothers. Numerous hooves enter the Nandutu plains. Thousands of gnus go on and are increasing in numbers. Between the bushes or up in a tree, his skin pattern is a perfect camouflage. This is one of his daily resting areas. One method of hunting is patiently waiting in a tree for a suitable prey to be right under him. From the tree, he then pounces down on top of the prey. The leopard will not hunt today. The sun rises quickly on the horizon. Meanwhile, the first births have taken place. Within 15 minutes after birth, it has learned to keep up. Out in the open is where one would least expect to see them. The herd swells quickly. Hundreds of kilometers already behind them, they follow their instinct. In the center of the herd, a female wildebeest attracts attention. It will not be an easy birth. The young mother gallops off in a blind panic, leaving her newborn calf behind, helpless, in the tall grass. The golden jackal comes to take a look. For a second, he hesitates. Till dad sees him. The Grant's gazelle gets encouragement. It is tiring, but you have to make some sort of effort. Mammals and birds all found their home in this huge crater. Then all hell breaks loose. The youngster can drink for a short while. The 20 kilometer wide crater is the most densely populated wildlife area on Earth. Each will try to survive in their own way and want to reproduce. The next generation waits a beautiful future too if we treat nature with respect and understanding.